that area. This will take place from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. each work day. NCAA women's basketball crowning its 2024 national champion today. I'm sure you all watched that game. It's a battle of two number one seeds who both came to the Capital Region last week at the MVP Arena, Iowa versus South Carolina. And before today's big game, Gamecocks coach Don Staley has was asked if Hawkeye superstar Kaitlyn Clark needs the national title to cement her legacy. If Kaitlyn wins the championship, She's pretty damn good, like, yeah, she's a coach. <laughs> I mean, she's pretty damn good regardless, but, you know, winning the championship was sealed the deal. I, I hope to the dear Lord she doesn't. Now, will Caitlin win the championship in her final collegiate game, or will South Carolina cap off an undefeated season? If you didn't watch, here's the highlights. It's superstar Caitlin Clark and her Iowa Hawkeyes against Camilla Cardozo and the undefeated South Carolina Gamecocks. A rematch of last year's Final Four when Iowa came away with the W. The 37-0 Gamecocks are coming in hot after yet another dominant performance against NC State in the Final Four. The Hawkeyes took down UConn in a game that came down to the wire on Friday night. Iowa scorching hot right out the gate. A 10 a run capped off by, you guessed it, Caitlin Clark. Her three-point jumper is true for her first bucket of the game. After her teammates scored the Hawkeyes' first seven points, she would pour in 14 straight of her own, including this absolute bomb. And it doesn't stop there. It's raining threes for Clark early on. She has 18 first-quarter points. That's the most points ever scored by one player in a single quarter in NCAA basketball national championship history. The Hawkeyes with a strong showing in the first quarter, but the Gamecocks close the gap. Freshman Tessa Johnson cashes in from downtown to knot it up. She led her team with 19 points off the bench. The Gamecocks had a 37-0 advantage in bench points. The momentum starting to shift. Cardoza with another bucket down low gives the Gamecocks their first lead of the game. We go back and forth, but Raven Johnson picks Clark's pockets late in the half to take a three-point lead into the locker room. The momentum carries over into the second half. The Gamecocks open the third quarter in a 6-0 burst. Tessa Johnson again from the wing. Nothing but net. And Johnson has it going, folks. She knocks down another triple. Iowa looks to stay alive. Clark sinks the three ball early in the fourth. She finishes with 30 points. The Hawkeyes would bring it within five points, but at the end of the day, just as they were all season long, the Gamecocks are just too dominant. South Carolina completes the perfect season and become 2024 national championship with the 87 to 75 victory over Iowa. South Carolina becomes the first undefeated national champion since you con back in 2016 and soon after winning the championship don saley has high praise for caitlin clark utilize this opportunity to thank caitlin for what she's done for women's basketball like her her shoulders were heavy and getting a lot of eyeballs on our game and sometimes as a young person it could be it could be a bit much but i thought she handled it with class I'm just proud of our group. We, you know, we never backed down, and um, you know, we gave it everything we got. I think for me, is just the emotions will probably hit me over the next couple of days, and I don't have much time to, you know, sit around and sulk and be upset. And I don't think that's what I'm about either. Is you know, yeah, I'm sad we lost this game, but I'm also so proud of myself. I'm so proud of my teammates. I'm so proud of this program. Um, there's a lot to be proud of. Kaylin Clark, the all-time leading scorer in college basketball, will now look forward to the WNBA draft, which takes place next Monday, April 15th. When Live at 11 continues here on News Channel 13, we also have new information on coming to light in the Attorney General's investigation into nursing homes. A surprising link between the state and a nursing home conglomerate facing fraud accusations. Plus, a potential merger between two credit card companies has Senator Chuck Schumer worried. What is concerned this merger could mean for credit card customers? That's next. And the big day is almost here. Coming up, I'll have your forecast locally and for your Eclipse travels.